Thank you for watching the KHSD Weekly Wrap Up Summer Edition. We're excited to kick off a new school year on Wednesday, August 17th and open the doors to our 19th comprehensive campus, Del Oro High School. Three, two, one. It's hard to believe this was the site of Del Oro High School just over a year ago, a dirt lot at East Panama Lane and Cottonwood Road. Today, the dirt lot has been transformed into an amazing, sprawling campus, which is now the home of the Rising Suns. Construction crews are making final preparations to welcome freshmen and sophomore students next week. The school is the first comprehensive campus to open in the district in 14 years and is a beautiful addition to the Southeast Bakersfield community. Students will find state of the art teaching and learning spaces with flexible seating for groups and project work and outdoor areas designed for instruction. Del Oro will also offer a variety of academic and extracurricular programs to meet our students needs. The development and construction of Del Oro have been made possible in part through Measure K, the general obligation bond passed by Kern County voters in 2016. Students walked into BHS's Harvey Auditorium ready to say farewell to high school and embark on a new journey. Seeing all of the graduates, the families, the friends um, here is a testament to the love and support felt from this class of graduates. Over 400 students from across the district were celebrated on July 15th during the summer commencement ceremony. Students we spoke with say the past few years have not been easy, but they're proud to be able to walk across the stage and receive their diplomas. I feel excited because I, I did it and I could say that I graduated. Even though it's late, but I can still say I graduated. <laughs> we want to congratulate all the graduates and continue to encourage them to strive for success and reach their goals. <laughs> Junior high students from eight of our partner districts had the opportunity to get a taste of high school and explore various career and technical education paths. The ROC and CTEC campuses invited students to attend the annual junior high summer camps this past July. Students could choose from several programs taught by our CTE instructors to attend for the week. Some of the programs included auto collision repair and technology, woodworking, culinary arts, intro to ag, industrial technology, graphic design, child care and babysitting, and animal care. It's been really fun. It's given me a lot of like different experiences because I've never worked with dogs before. Um, but now I know how to like brush them, bathe them, how to care for them. The goal of the summer camps is to expose students at a young age to the various career fields so they can begin thinking and planning for their future. Congratulations to our Skills USA Kern High Chapter for a job well done at the National Skills USA Conference held in Atlanta, Georgia in June. Our students earned seven gold medals at the state competition in April, which qualified them to compete at the national level. And they kept the winning streak going. The Career Pathway Showcase team, Arubio Monterosa, Daniel Solis, and Rene Reyes received gold medals in the art and communication category. Way to make Kern County proud. Honor to get this award. When we set out to design this facility about five years ago, we really wanted to bring the best of the best to our students. The Kern High School District received top honors at the beautiful Bakersfield Awards held in downtown Bakersfield this past June. The ROC Cafe and Bakery won the award in the category of Best Architecture and Design. The ROC Cafe and Bakery is home to our culinary arts program. The program is a three part full service training program and full service restaurant and prepares students for careers in the food and hospitality industries. Congrats are also in store for Angel Cottrell, ROC and CTEC Entrepreneurship Resource Center's manager who took home the award in the education category. And Centennial High graduate Alexander Fan was presented the Next Gen Award. We also want to give kudos to the following nominees. CTEC Digital Marketing and Media Design and Mobile App Instructor Walter Swalzo and students Zoe Gudino and Sanja Mizar. 
The Greater Bakersfield Chamber hosts the yearly event to recognize individuals, businesses, and organizations for their accomplishments and efforts to improve the quality of life and make Bakersfield a better community for all. You saw how Andy did that with Desmos just now. There's a lot of pre-created activities. Over the summer, our teachers took part in professional development training. You're looking at math teachers from schools across the district collaborating on ways to improve student learning. Veteran teachers also shared their expertise during new teacher mentor training. They are ready to support our new teachers as we embark on a new school year. Thank you for watching the summer edition of the KHSD Weekly Wrap-Up. Remember, the first day of school is Wednesday, August 17th. Please note that school start times have changed. To view the bell schedules, bus schedules, and for other resources, please visit your school's website or the district site, kernhigh.org.